Mitchell Ballman's farm outside Hoxie, Kansas is about as rural as you can get. Kind of out here by ourselves, you know, not a lot of populace. And not a lot of rain due to a prolonged drought. We we're the eternal optimist in, of farmers out here in western Kansas, so we always think it's going to get better. Ballman farms land that has been in his family for four generations. His father was born during the infamous Dust Bowl in the 1930s, when the farmland dried out, dusted up, and drove people away. We're probably almost to them circumstances right now. But what makes the current drought different from the Dust Bowl at the Ballman family farm is the Ogallala Aquifer. Out of the heart of his wheat fields, an industrial pump draws water out of a well tapped into the massive underground aquifer. The water reaches an above ground pivot system that slowly moves in a circular pattern over the planted crops. Ballman says it is a major improvement over the old pipe systems that used to flood the farmland. Ten years ago, we, we might have averaged 700 to 800 gallon per minute wells. Today, in 2014, we're probably averaging 400. Ballman is proud of those figures. He is keenly aware that the depletion of the Ogallala Aquifer could ultimately drive his family off the land. I started realizing the importance of water when I realized that my boys and everybody else's kids want to move back to these small towns. So to, to keep bringing the populace back to our small communities, we have to have the water. Um, it's an emotional issue, I think, for anyone that works in water. It's, it's everything to these people and to the people that work in it. You know, without water, we're not, we're not existing. And Catherine Wilkins Wells is the general manager of the Northwest Kansas Groundwater Management District 4. There are five such districts in Kansas, governed by local boards, which include farmers like Ballman. The districts work with farmers on ways to curb overall water use. There's a technology that they're looking at where the center pivot will go around the field and it will increase its water use or decrease its water use as it's talking, um, essentially, uh, through a computer to the moisture probes that are in the ground. And those moisture probes are telling the sprinklers when they need to be on and when they need to be off um, in order to kind of get water to the roots as, as uh, quick as possible. Ever the eternal optimist, Ballman is confident in the future of his farm, thanks to good crop planning and water conservation. It'll rain sometime, and all we hope is we have the right amount of fertilizer, the right hybrid out there, the correct crop out there to utilize that water at the time. I mean, it, my d dad went through it, my grandpa went through it, and we're just going through it now. He hopes his efforts will ensure the Ogallala Aquifer is a viable water source one his own children can and will someday depend on. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Colby, Kansas.